Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Zimbabwe Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a curious beast. Ravaged by wars and civil strife, it had a particularly tumultuous exit from the age of European colonialism in Africa. And while there are still lingering human rights complaints and authoritarian tendencies in the government here, the general consensus is that those dangers are slowly but surely subsiding. That means Zimbabwe is once again entering the safari fold and beginning to re-magnetize intrepid travelers with the promise of its Inselberg-studded backcountry, its teak forests and cypress-spattered hills. With its rugged eastern highlands where curious monkeys huddle against the cold breezes and its deep caves and underground riverways. Of course, there are some mainstream attractions, not least of all the roaring wonder of Victoria Falls and the up-and-coming metropolis of Harare, certainly one to watch. So, if you're feeling adventurous and ready to throw caution to the wind, it's worth considering this lost jewel of the African South for sure. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Victoria Falls There's a clear reason why tersely named Victoria Falls is one of Zimbabwe's must-see places. Like the eponymous towns of Niagara in the US and Canada, the settlement is just a stone's throw from the roaring waterfalls that gave it its moniker. Thousands of people flock here to see the awesome sight every year too. They join the baboons in the jungles and delve into the Victoria Falls National Park just to the south of the center, gawping and gasping as the great curtain of water comes into view. Cascading dramatically off its black rock cliffs in plumes of steam and mist. Number 9. Harare. Nearly 3 million people call the metropolis of Harare their home, making it not only the capital but also the largest city of the nation. Sat up on plateaus of Zimbabwe's central highlands, it certainly looks the part. Endless steel-clad skyscrapers shoot up from its CBD, the economic kingpin of the country, and First Street and the downtown buzz with purring traffic and shoppers from morning until night. And there's history too poking out with the great preservation of the National Gallery in the National Archives and the Queen Victoria Museum, not to mention the wealth of old colonial builds. Apart from that, visitors here can wallow in the pretty parks and wander between the jacarandas that famously pepper the roadways. Number 8. Bulawayo Bulawayo belies a sort of New Orleans vibe. It's got age-stained colonial frontispieces that ooze Art Deco and Victorian regal styles. It's got swaying trees dotting its old avenues and the occasional Anglo-esque public house occupying the arcades. But this second city is more than just a historical relic. It's also an industrial and economic hub, once known for its smoke-belching factories and still crisscrossed by more railway lines than you can shake a Ndebel tribal trinket at. The town is indelibly green and flowery, with bougainvillea cascading over the rooftops and palms peppering the roundabouts. Between it all you can see elegant governmental buildings, go shopping for trinkets, or plan your next safari out to the southwestern parks. Number 7. Matobo National Park The legendary Matobo National Park is a cross-shaped reserve found just south out of aforementioned Bulawayo. Famed since time immemorial for its curious array of inselbergs and hoodoo rock formations, it's a land of sculpted granite peaks and anthropomorphic bluffs. These have been a shelter for man for millennia, and today it's possible to spy out remnants of Southern Africa's prehistory carved into the stone at spots like the Nswatubi Cave. Meanwhile, others come to stock ungulates in the Hove Wild area, the dedicated game park here, a land of sable antelope and wildebeest, baboon packs and leopards. Number 6. Nyanga National Park The home of the Highveld is a wild and wonderful place. Perched on the very roof of Zimbabwe, more than 1,800 meters above sea level, it's formed by hulking hills of dolomite rock and suspended boulders that creak in the cool breezes. Dressed in groves of masasa trees and cypresses that are rare to these regions, the habitats here can host a truly otherworldly array of creatures. Many are endemic, like the old world Samango monkeys, with their white brushed throats that can only be found in these parts. You'll also find a smattering of leopards and lions, just in case you wanted a taste of the quintessential African safari. Number 5. 
Hwange National Park. Bringing up the forefront of Zimbabwe's ecotourism offering with its nigh on 15,000 square kilometers of protected landscape, the Hwange National Park rarely fails to impress safari goers making their way through this section of southern Africa. Inside its boundaries is a mosaic of Kalahara woods and teak groves, grass plains and flood flats, all of which are peppered with bulbous termite mounds and the occasional pan, a watering hole that makes this one a perfect destination for lion stalkers. And apart from the kings of the plains, it's also possible to see hyenas and wild dogs, leopard and cheetah, all lurking amidst the fossil-spotted riverbanks and bubbling hot springs. Number 4. Muter. The gateway to the farthest eastern fringes of Zimbabwe and the Nanga National Park besides, Muter makes its home between the steep side valleys of Manikland. All around you can see the serrated tops of the Bumba Mountains that enfold the town, making this one something of an enclave of civilization in the deep southern African wilds. Today, the place has developed a nice clutch of backpacker guesthouses and cheap hostels, giving it the rep of a fine stopover en route to hike the hills or stalk the curious Samango monkey atop the rugged eastern highlands. Number 3. Mesvingo Welcoming travelers to the deeper reaches of Zimbabwe. Mesvingo is one of the prime drop-off points for VIP buses, heading through to the southern edge of the country. And what a welcome it is! Sat neatly on the edge of the Mutiriqui National Park, the place has plenty in the way of outdoors exploration up its sleeve. However, the real treat has to be the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Great Zimbabwe, which lurks between the bush some 20 kilometers away. These 700-year-old ruins crumble and crack under the sun, revealing tales of the nation's old Shauna-speaking folk. The so-called hill complex and great enclosure, there are hailed as perhaps the most awesome example of Dristone architecture on the globe. Number 2. Lake Mutiriqui National Park In the shadow of the sculpted Beza Range and the undulating hills of southern Zimbabwe, the Lake Mutiriqui National Park is one of the country's more off-the-beaten-track areas for outdoors recreation. Small and compact, it completely ensconces the reservoir of erstwhile Lake Kyle, which flooded the valleys here after the construction of a dam in 1960. As you flit between the empty banks and the smooth granite hills of the surrounding area, you'll keep the company of ostriches and buffalo, not to mention local fishing folk searching for bass and bream beneath the waters. Number 1. Ganarejao National Park You could be forgiven for thinking that you were strolling through Colorado or Arizona as you move between the rock-ribbed, rust-colored escarpments that dominate the vistas in the North Ganarejao National Park. This wild land covers a hopping 5,000 square kilometers, which is just a portion of the colossal Limpopo Conservancy, set to sprawl out across the frontier into Mozambique when it's fully established. Elephants and giraffe are common sightings, while you'll also be able to spot wild dog packs and zebra between the Mopane woods. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.